I had a couple kids knock on the door. I just left a, uh, I left a bullet. Now listen to this crap. I actually literally left a bowl of little miniature Snickers bars on the on a thing, so I wouldn't have to get up and answer the door because I was in here messing around on the, on the computer. And when I when I actually checked at about 10 o'clock, there were still Snickers left in the bowl. Can you believe that? Nobody actually jacked the entire damn bowl. I cannot believe that. Kids are too trustworthy these days. Uh, I'm telling where you, man. Live, well, where I live, they would have jacked the everything and probably the bowl, too. Yeah. They dropped your house right around you. That, I mean, that's what happened uh, when I was a kid. If if somebody was nice enough to put an entire bowl of candy, I remember one time there was a, I mean, there were full Snickers bars. There was no way I was not going to take that whole goddamn bowl of, of candy bars. And there, and it, back when I was trigger-treating, man, everybody trigger-treated. So I took that whole bowl, and I was in a mask and everything. Nobody knew who the hell I was. So I jacked that whole bowl, and this mother grabbed my costume and says, I can't believe you just did that. And she was shaking my arm, and I, I ripped my arm away from her, and I said, well, I took it all like that. I remember saying, well, I took it all. Go to another house. <laughs> but I was a little shit. I was probably about probably 13 or 14 at that time. And we used to shaving cream all the little kids and stuff that, that were trick-or-treating as well. So that was really, really fun back in those days. Now they, they just, you know, shoot kids and stab them with knives and shit, I'm sure. So, But I can't believe that. My, that half that bowl of, of little miniature Snickers bars were still there. I can't believe it. Yeah, Unbelievable. There really aren't that many kids in my neighborhood. I don't know, if, but I didn't like hand out candy though. So, because nobody wants to have either. kids anymore. It's too goddamn expensive. Well, I live in an okay neighborhood. My in-laws live in a nice neighborhood, so my wife took them trick or treating with them. So I just turn all the lights off in the house except for my room, and and, and uh, so nobody got any candy in my neighborhood. There's no. not many people that live here either. So. And you ate it all. all the candy for me. Oh, they brought me a bunch of candy back. And then when you woke up in the morning, you had chocolate lined up all around your mouth, and your wife says, well, how did trick-or-treating go last night? And you say, oh, it went good. There was a lot of kids that came and got candy. When in all reality, I was doing that. you Two bogarted hours. it for there. yourself. I'm like getting up and down all night. Yeah, no problem, yeah. Zartane. It's my pleasure, when man. I'm old, when I'm an old, old. I love streaming for you guys. It's really fun. That's, so. that's my entertainment, sitting on the porch and giving. Yeah, I'll do it then. <laughs> Oh, watch out! Watch out for some of those candies. Somebody in the Gizmo, what's up, buddy? General vicinity uh, just stuck a candy bar full of LSDs. Did it really? That's my yep. where you live. No shit, I'm, luckily, that's where I'm trigger treating the, next year. Well, yeah, luckily, luckily, the mother the mother took it, but it was in this bag of like a 16 month year old kid who was trick or treating, and she actually ate it first. So nice, she was tripping balls. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. That's probably what those kid did. Uh, kids did to me last night. They probably uh, used syringes and injected all kinds of shit into those uh, candy bars for me to eat. I haven't eaten any yet, so uh, we'll see. All right, so we are going to get started. And uh, would anybody like to give a recap? Somebody has got to want to give me a goddamn recap tonight. I have faith. Uh, I don't know if I'm wanting to relive that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Painful memories. You'll be all right, Gannon. Make Oxy do it. All right. Do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. He kind of deserves it. He deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> the punishment. All right. Um, yeah, last time we finished up the dungeon. We found a talking wheel that we're going to keep for... To be our receptionist. It's going to be a lot of fun. We found the little gnome called Laszlo. We took him in. Uh, he's a uh, bard. He talks a lot. And uh, yeah, nothing else happened. We left safe and sound. You found a portal <laughs> to Under Mountain. That is nothing. Yeah, that, that, that is, is massive. That is yeah. Then we went to the bar. We all went to bed. It was really safe. Nobody got hurt or anything. Right? Right. 
And right. and and okay. I think uh, somebody, yeah, did, did something at night and they got put in jail. A sword, a really nice sword, by the way, was sold. Real shame. And uh, yeah. But why? Really why was that person why? put in the jail? Uh, so I don't know, man. <laughs> I think somebody rolled a one somewhere. <laughs> yeah, poorly. You know. It happens. All good. I think it was the whole the whole part of uh you dressing up as a woman. You know, I could just imagine oh, yeah. you in front of a yeah. in front of a makeshift mirror putting makeup on and you know, <laughs> lipstick and you, your lipstick going up to your nose and oh my god, that would be so funny to that's funny just yeah. to visually think about it. You, you, you go all out. You go all out on dressing up, cross dressing, but when it comes time to actually make the steal, you just, just yep. oh god. Yep. He that Bill was, Bucknered it. Yep. He pulled a Bill Buckner. Basically, <laughs> he, to be he honest, choked. To be honest, I did all I could think of to like make my, make it easier, but yeah, didn't work too bad. What's up, oh. Fire Warrior? So we were so, uh, shunned from the city. Oh no, not all again. of us. We were told not no, to no, return all again. of us. Oh. Pretty sure we're not allowed to return again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All oh, of that's us. right. Yeah, remember, right. Trasker escorted you guys out to the to the gate and was giving you the old, uh, uh, what is that, Mrs. Universe wave, you know, as you guys were riding off into the sunset. <laughs> I don't know. The I, one fingers. Yeah, I basically. Don't basically. We're being punished for him. When we made him, you know, pay reparations and shit. But you got to remember this. Back then, it was guilt by association. Any type of, you know, a lot of the times yeah. it is guilt associate, guilt by association. So that that's basically what happened to the party. You all suffered for it because, you know, after you just got done ridding the, you know, the town of a of a small gargoyle problem that they were having, uh, one of your party members kind of. Uh, sticks one up the uh, wazoo of the town and tries to steal from one of the, you know, the, the not even just the the highest level. I mean, speaking out of context there, but an actual real Samaritan of Sucumber. I mean, it, it's just uh, old Flapjacks. And you tried to steal from Flapjacks and you got jacked. So, good old Flapjacks. Good old Flapjacks. I, I can tell he's on somebody's list. But, uh, you know, you, you could have got lucky from Flapjacks as well, so because he he was wanting to uh, take you up to his room, so <laughs> yeah. that, that would have been a Shanghai a surprise night. for him, man. But yeah. all right, so wrong. my turn. I appreciate you uh, doing yeah. the recap, minus a Rolling. few details, but uh, yeah, I I, I understand. Oh, yeah, your memory's memory, horrible so. and something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to uh, kind of rewind a little bit. Uh, to the points where we'll start the session with you guys are uh, just out of visual sight of the small adventure town of Sucumber and you are now heading east along the Black Road and you're going to probably uh, be about right here so I'm just gonna rewind just a little bit because uh, the game was winding down last week and I just wanted to uh, get you guys out of there, but now that I thought about it over the week, we will have you guys just out of sight of Succumber. Alright, so we're just leaving town? You you are uh, just out of sight of Succumber now. Alright. So I'm guessing game. Hmm? Head and east with our heads down. Oh. Well, I'm sure you're probably playing a somberful a very sombering song yeah, on I'm your guess, lute. I'm guessing the bar is like it's really dark tune. What what time of day is it? Uh it is uh it's actually uh, about midday, a little after midday, probably uh, equivalent to about three o'clock PM. What kind of road right. ahead do we have time wise to get to Loudwater? Uh it's probably a, a day and a half, two day travel to Loudwater. And then Lork is another uh, day and a half. You got to remember, you're traveling at a slower pace because you have a cart, and the cart can't run uh, at a 
full speed of like say a riding horse so traveling will be a little bit slower for the party but not you're still going to be able to travel you know you'll be able to get there with a in a good time I mean you're just not able to ride 60 70 miles a day like somebody on a riding horse would all right so game does me, does me all of this you know you're not going coming into my hometown or I'm kicking your ass right correct well, I, well, I think kicking that's what your ass was just the just the first hit oh, okay okay so all right cool sorry guys so I forgot well, to turn off the uh, the splash guys, screen there he didn't fun. miss anything, I you know. So great times. It was a great month. Made a lot of money. Whoa! You know, lost a few. It's okay. I have some shit to take care of in the next town. But if you guys don't want to stop there, I have to do it on my own. But yeah, thanks for the memories. Peace. I ride off into the distance on my own. So you are. Unless you guys want to talk about anything before I leave. You're leaving? Yeah, for a while. No. Since you guys didn't want to stop in the other towns, I have some things that I need to take care of. Well, the, you, you all know that the next stop on the Black Road is Loudwater. The It's a lou larger town than Sucumber, but not much larger. But you do know that that is the next stop of the party so what you're doing is riding ahead on your because you do have a riding horse you're riding ahead to loud Loudwater. yeah okay yes. all right so he's gonna go separate than us so we don't uh that's what it sounds like yeah it's gonna be like uh i do my own thing and then we meet up it later so you know i don't curse you further anymore if anything happens it's on my own Hmm. Interesting. You're welcome. So you're gonna ruin our reputations and leave? Uh, yeah, kinda. <laughs> yeah, that'll be. A if you, if you wanna see it that way. I mean, well, I mean, we're, we're all our own. We don't owe each other anything, really. So you know, it's not like owe me your life or I owe you mine. We don't have to stay together anymore. You don't wanna see me. You. Don. This is getting interesting, uh, guys. I Actually, well, I was just thinking out of character, him going there ahead of us. Out of us character, not, us don't not worry. getting there. Us, us it's not, okay. Us not going there at the same time does it get not like, hey, he's with us, and the word might have traveled already and what what he'd done. So, well, speaking out of character here, I don't think world. Uh, I don't think that the word is, has traveled. Well, that probably fast. no. It's not gonna. I mean, it'll, that's it'll travel faster than our cart. Well, that's even not if it does course, travel. No. I mean, there's no there's no chance that. I mean, there's a chance that it could just be left in Sucumber. It's not like I don't think Sucumber is just gonna start sending it's messengers like out and couriers out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he's gonna actually just start sending out a hundred couriers in every direction. You know, screaming the British are coming. You know, uh, or whatever your group's name is. I, I don't think that's coming. gonna happen. But I mean, you, but the thing is, is you may have a problem if anybody that was there at the public flogging, because. You know, there there was some things discussed about, you know, uh, during this public exhibition of you getting flogged for 15 minutes that, you know, the party, uh, you were with this party and Trasker had pointed down to the front row where the remainder uh, of the party was, which I think either Uthador or Lormar went back to the cart, I believe, at the town gate. I can't remember who. But I do know uh, either one or two people of the party actually did not want to participate in the public oh, flogging, yeah, so they, they went to the, the cart. So, But if there was anyone there that actually witnessed the, you know, the, the flogging, then maybe something like that would happen. But I, I really don't honestly think that Trasker would just start sending out messengers everywhere to all the surrounding towns uh, saying that you know somebody was... Uh, this party tried to you know steal something from from one of the adventurers visiting in our town or whatnot, so... But I, I think you guys would be safe in that regards. And that's, yeah, that's just fun. speaking out of... speaking okay. out of context. 
not as a DM. Okay. <clears throat> all right. All right. All right. Well, he's out. Heading, he's out. heading over, out that way. I, I'd probably more or less nod and uh, yeah, an acknowledgement of his. What's up, Death Eater? Well, we Thanks for watching tonight, need, buddy. So well, need a loan. Yes. Uh, good travels. Good bye. I'll just continue to ride. I think that's about it. <laughs> no other no other dialogue or conversation before he rides off into the sunset. I believe you are what way are you riding, Juno? Are you riding east towards Loudwater still? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So he is going to basically uh ride off and head to Loudwater and he rides off into the into the distance and then you lose sight of him. That was more painful than it had to be. <laughs> Can say anything you want, guys. I'm not there anymore. Can well, trust me all you want. If you want to uh, leave the channel for a few minutes, I'll pull you back up, Juno. All right. Whenever uh, you're ready. Do that. I go get some food. Okay. okay bye. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> User was moved I moved him out of the channel. Of the channel. Well, that was definitely a uh, definitely I different. That. Did you really? Yeah, he wasn't going to face up to what what had happened. Yeah. So, well, you guys want to talk that's fine, about it? But you know, if the the only the only thing that I really care about at this point is that if this game gets split in half, and we end up with like two hours here and two hours with him. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, because if he wants to do anything on his own, I will DM him on his own during the week. And, I, and I've told him that, so he has that option. Kind of like with the game. But I'm, I'm not... A way he but, can get back into our but to touch on what you had just mentioned, Chris, no, I, I am not going to do that. I will not do that. Because so. I, I don't want to you know, be like a a soap opera of days of our lives and have different things. No, I, I don't want to do that. I will take care of him on his own during the week. And, but no, you guys are, you guys are good. You won't have to worry about that. So you just, no, no. you so just had just... a, uh, your rogue leave the group, and he's, I guess he said he's heading to Loudwater. So. All right. Well. To be honest with you, um, we need to start looking to fill that spot. Okay. In terms of? Uh, in terms of traps, locks, searching. Yeah, we definitely would be discussing the fact that we're going to need uh, help in dungeons and stuff. You know, we're going to have an issue with, you know, being a, a party member short down on any encounters we have. I mean, you know, was he in melee? No, but was he doing damage? Yeah, sneak attack's amazing. Now you're right. Also, on a side note, did uh, all of you guys see in the handouts that I have created a new spellbook for each one of your classes? So all of the, as you can see in the handouts, uh, every, everyone has their own spellbook assigned. So if you just want to erase all of that stuff off of your character sheet to kind of uh, free up some of the congestion, you can use that, that spell book that you have there. And just on your character sheet or on a, on a piece of scratch paper, you can just write down, you know, uh, what spells you have memorized. So, But I think that'll work out much better for you. And, and the, the descriptions are actually word for word, uh, which are in the, uh, the spell PDF of the D and D next playtest. So I figured you guys would like cool. that. And the one thing is, uh, you will notice, especially uh, for you, Lormar, and also, you, well, you'll see that on some of the spell levels, you'll see domain under the spell name, and it's in uh, a bold 
wording, uh, bold lettering, mm -hmm. you'll that is not your baseline spell. That's just if, uh, in case you're, you know, for your path or oath or whatever, you know, uh, subclass of what your class is, that's just there in case you do have that option to pick that spell up. So, but that's just to let you guys know, and I figured you guys would find that pretty useful. So, it took me 20 hours to complete all of those spell books. A bitch to do. Well, Especially the mage book. Do you send them to all your other games and stuff? Uh, damn, damn right I transmogrified those in my, all my games, so, yep. That's <laughs> they just gotta do it once and it's done. Well, unless they make edits to the spells. One and done. Yeah. So, all right. I just wanted to to let you guys know that because uh, I wanted to tell you before we got started, but uh, I forgot. So, so your yeah, rogue took off. Look at that early in the week. What do you What do you guys think about that? I mean, is it? I don't know. I I, I haven't really heard much of uh, any dialogue. I guess it's probably because I've been talking. So, I'll let you well, guys have for a my, few minutes. from my standpoint, I felt like we were getting into a little bit extra. Um, you know, we were kind of being pushed into a little bit extra risk because of out of character, because of his exactly need gets to him. make money quickly. Um, which, you know, eventually, you know, I was already uncomfortable with, you know, digging farther down into that one area. Um, but we did, we came out, but, you know, from my standpoint, it's um, out of character. Uh, it's going to be a difficult, it's going to be difficult to carry um, you know, looking at looking at the moral compass of the group, I think that that's going to become an issue later on as well. Anyways, um, you know, if everybody continues to play their moral compass correctly, so to speak, or their alignment, um, there was going to be additional uh, pieces of that that are going to continue to come into play. Similar instances, I'm sure. Um, yeah, but. Uh, in any event, I mean, from my standpoint, you know, it's his decision. Um, you know, we, we you just know, remember, we guys, early, I have a early and it a roll like twenty giveaway towards the end of the stream here, as well. So, so you have to be following the channel characters to receive the like uh, giveaway. There is a hole in the party that needs to be filled. Uh, um, you know, regardless of you know whatever damage has been done, there's still a hole. You know, it's not like oh well, you know, you're not cutting something off. You know, you're not really just, you know, saying, oh, well, here's this bad thing that we just got rid of. We have a gap in the group. So, um, you know, it's, from my standpoint, when we get back to a place where we can recruit, I think we need to consider it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a, uh, there's definitely a, a hole in the party, that's for sure. Uh, for a, well, speaking out of, out of character, uh, you guys are now lacking the, the skills of the rogue for traps and disarming and shit like that, so you're right. I, and it's definitely a definitely a ringer that uh he's taking off like this, so but that's that's his decision and uh he's playing his character the way he wants to play it and if something comes up down the line then we'll we'll see how it works out from there. Yeah. So, all right. So we're gonna say that the the rest of the day is. Oh, and one more thing. What sucks about you guys have been shunned now from the town of Sacomber. That really puts a, a a massive, you know, hamper on any kind of traveling, because as I'm looking at it right now, you're looking at at least a 400 mile gap between. The east at Loudwater, back to Waterdeep, 400 miles. That is days of traveling, and you know you're not going to be able to make a stop in Sacomber anymore to resupply or whatever. So that has definitely that's definitely put a, a, a big mark on the party as well, especially on your on your you know the the journey back that way. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so you guys are about halfway through. Yep, you guys are about halfway. The next day happens, 
the day is uneventful, you have no encounters, you, you come across several uh, wandering travelers, and they just pass heading towards the town of Sucumber. You know, there's, there's no, time of, no type of animosity or, or anything like that. And the next day happens, and you are in the town of Loudwater, and I will give you a handout and this is Loudwater. You will see that there's a little bit of information below the map, not much. Uh, it is a pot, they do have a population of around 2,000. Especially, Gim, you would know some basic information about Loudwater because you are uh, sort of kind of from this neck of the woods. Uh, you do know that they have a thriving seaport economy that does act as a uh, middle point between the east and west part of the uh, Sword Coast as well. The town is ran by a beautiful half-elf named Lady Moonfire, and she is well liked throughout the town, although the nobles and the other upper class of Loudwater think that she may be a little dipsy and uh, a little glittery that way. But on the most part, she does have a good reputation, and she spends a, a lot of her time at the Mage Tower. Okay, um, being a bounty hunter... Um, but but you are coming to the... up to the gate of Loudwater. You're not actually in the town of Water. You're on the outskirts. You can see the, the gate within a visual sight. Okay, well then once we get into the town, um, being a bounty hunter, I'm going to check my contacts uh, at the guard post. Okay. Uh, you are up to the gate now, and there is a guard post there at the gate. What kind of information would you like to try to obtain? I'm not looking to obtain anything. I'm looking to provide. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm giving them a description of Oxy um, and letting them know what happened in the last town. Okay, the guard actually tells you that many travelers come through Loudwater, <clears throat> and he doesn't remember, per se, the description that you have given to him, because he has just been on watch the last several hours or so. So possibly if another guardsman or watchman had been there in a shift before him, you could probably gain some information that way. But, you know, as you know, Loudwater is sort of like an, another adventure hub between the High Forest and the High Moor and actually the Great Peak Mountains as well. So, Yeah, I'm not looking for information though. Yeah, it, the guard that you're talking to, no, he is not, he is not, uh, his memory hasn't, you know, he hasn't seen anybody that fitting the description that you've just told him. Right, I know, but my intent was not to ask him where the guy is. My intent was to provide a description of who okay. he is and what had just happened in the past town so that they would be aware and, and available to on the lookout. Okay. He marks down the information in a logbook and he will let his superiors know and they will keep an eye out for this person. Oh, nice move there, man. Actually, I'm going to... Uh, pull Oxy back up. I don't know if he's back yet or not, but I'm going to pull him back up in here just so he can kind of listen, I guess. User was moved to your channel. All right. So is there any locations that you would like to visit within Loudwater? Um, he's been here before, right? Um, your character? I don't uh, know. How's your... No, not me. Not, no, uh, not me Dwyvern, yeah. he's passed through Dwyvern. here several times, Dwyvern. yes. I'm guessing we probably want to get over to somewhere where, you know, what, like you said, we're going to try to recruit mm -hmm. and see if there's, uh, you know, anybody else looking for an adventure. Maybe a tavern or <clears throat> something like that. Well, there's so a suggest, suggest several that. taverns in town. There is the yeah. Green Tankard Tavern, which should be location number five on your map. That is a general hub of adventurers that are that are stopping by. Uh, then there is also, uh, let's see, the Fisher's 